Just 35 years ago this week, a small Scottish town, probably unknown even to many Scots, became front page news all over the world when a Boeing 747 jumbo jet, laden with fuel for a flight from London to New York, fell onto a quiet residential street just across the railway line from where I'm standing. The flight was Pan Am 103, blown apart by a terrorist bomb placed in onboard luggage, and the town was Lockerbie in Dumfries and Galloway, southwest Scotland. Last week, I filmed the Midland Pullman at the site of Britain's worst ever railway disaster. Today, I'm filming the same train where the UK's worst aviation disaster occurred on the 21st of December, 1988. Lockerbie is a curious station, served almost exclusively by Transpennine Express, with very occasional calls by Avanti West Coast trains. The station is operated by Scotrail, who run no trains at all on the tracks between Gretna Junction and Carstairs. There are no stations on the 47 miles 63 chains northbound between Lockerbie and Carstairs making this the longest stationless stretch of railway in Britain. Next stop south is Carlisle, 25 miles 67 chains. The southbound destination for Trans-Pennine trains is usually Manchester Airport, with occasional services running to Liverpool. Northbound trains alternate between Glasgow Central and Edinburgh. Sadly, in recent years, this company has a very poor record, with frequent cancellations and curtailment of its trains.
The weather so far this morning has been surprisingly good. Much better than forecast. Clear, calm and dry. The Pullman, however, has been seriously delayed in North Wales, running nearly two hours late at one point, and the skies are beginning to look ominous. As the first spots of rain begin to fall, I move my tripod. Rain and the drone are a dangerous combination, so I position the tripod to capture something of the Pullman if I can't get any aerial footage. The wind is getting up, there's more than a touch of moisture in the air, things are getting distinctly touch and go. Disappointing after such a long wait. Ah oh well, that's life. Let's go and have a brief look at the site of the appalling 1988 disaster that cost 270 innocent lives.
Engineer of the Age of Platform 4. As the beautiful blue Pullman heads off to Holyhead, let's wish her a trouble-free trip and her crew and passengers a Merry Christmas.